In this experiment, I'm gonna show you a material called mothballs, which is actually a poison that is used to kill moths that attack and eat holes in clothing, believe it or not. So the chemical in this mothballs is called paradichlorobenzene. Try saying that three times, paradichlorobenzene. And right now it's a solid. I'm gonna pour some out into this beaker right here and I'm gonna show you. So I've got some poured out into the beaker. You can see it's a white solid. It's really stinky and has a strong odor. So it's coming off into a gas right away. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set that up on this ring stand up here. And then, uh, this is a beaker by the way, and then I'm gonna put a beaker of cold water on top. And I'm then gonna start my torch up and I am going to heat up that, that solid um, mothballs and I'm gonna melt it. So, I'm gonna be doing this right here, getting the torch going. I'm gonna move you guys closer. There you can see it. And it's starting to melt. I can see it, it's starting to melt on the sides of the container. You can see it right there. And it looks like a clear, thick liquid. It's thicker than water, but it kind of looks like water. Okay, and now it, the gas is starting to rise. You can see it's starting to fill with fumes. Um, that's the gas from the mothball, from the chemical. So it's turned to a liquid and now gas is rising up. Some of the gas is solidifying on the walls of the container. And I'm gonna kind of get those, I want those particles off of there. So I'm gonna get that up. It's boiling, the bottom is definitely boiling. And it's still filling with gas. I need to keep doing this for a little bit. It's definitely boiling. The fumes are all from that chemical. I can see some of the fumes are coming out. And let me turn this off and it's gonna continue to boil for a while. I can hear it boiling. There's the beaker of water on the top. And it's starting to slow down a bit. I'm trying to see if we get any condensation. We're not really getting any condensation here. But if there would be condensation, that would be this gas turning into a liquid on the upper walls of the beaker here. And then once it becomes a liquid, it loses energy and it drops back down to the bottom. But what I do see, what it's, you can kind of see in the back here, is there's a lot of crystals that have formed on the walls of the container. And especially when I lift up this beaker and I show you underneath here, it's really cool. You can see these awesome little crystals on the bottom right there. They're just like kind of long little fingers. They look like sharp little needles. That solid that is reformed on this cold water beaker because the cold water caused the gas, which had high energy, to cool off rapidly. And it made these beautiful looking crystals on the bottom of this beaker. So that's about it. The only thing that we didn't really see here is the condensation again. The condensation should have appeared up in this range as little droplets. Um, there are crystals in the back that is re-solidified. So again, we saw three states of matter for this mothball chemical. It was a solid, then it melted into a liquid, and then the liquid boiled into a gas, and then some of the gas normally will condense on the walls of the container and drop back down into the liquid. So we saw mothballs as a solid, a liquid, and a gas. So I let this thing sit for maybe 10 minutes and I got some incredible crystals 
So I'm gonna try and pull this up. Wow, they're falling off. Look at those insane crystals right there. Beautiful. And then look inside there. Oh man, it stinks though. Beautiful crystals. Look at that. Wow. Awesome. 